last time on Stay Humble. The Hit Brainiac. The hit Brainiac. The hit Brainiac. The hit Brainiac. As soon as I finished playing my last high school baseball game as a freshman, I was left on my own to strive for greatness. Now, a few days after I finished playing my last game, I will go over to my school in the evening and hit off the tee for about an hour and a half in the batting cage. I did this to polish my swing really well because halfway through the high school baseball season, I did change up my swing completely. I was stuck doing tee work by myself for about a week until summer ball practices began. And when summer ball practices began, I was pumped. For my 2017 summer baseball season, I decided to play for the Michigan Blue Jays baseball organization. I like the organization personally. It seems very official and professionally ran. And yeah, I just think it's a very good organization all around. I was excited to work with my team for the season and I was excited to see what we had in store for us. We were gonna play league games and also a few tournaments. And at practice, I just kept striving for greatness and I just kept trying to get better every single day. After two short practices, it felt like we definitely were not prepared for our first game. And before we knew it, our first game was the following weekend. We came into the game ready to play. The team was supposed to be really good, but however, we came in and we fought and battled. We ended up winning the game 8-3. to three. Our whole team had a good performance and we were short on players as well. Personally, I went 1-4 for four with a double, 2 RBIs, a walk, and 2 runs scored. Personally, I wasn't very satisfied with my performance so I just had to get in the cage some more, swing some more, and just do more work. A few weeks later after our first game, my school year was officially over. And about one week after school was out, we had a big tournament. We were headed to Indianapolis, Indiana to compete in a pastime tournament. If you do not know what pastime tournaments are, it is a big circuit of tournaments ran nationwide at colleges such as Butler University and Michigan and so on. But today, we are going to play at Butler University. The experience in Indianapolis, Indiana was super cool. I was so happy that I was able to go there and I personally had a good time. For the tournament, I think I went one for three. Yes, I know I had three at bats in the whole tournament, but hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do. I had a single with the RBI in two runs. We went one and two in the tournament, which wasn't good, but hey, at least we gotta win. It looked like our season was going to be pretty good, but then we faced some problems. Alright, so let's fast forward about a month and a half. After we played that tournament in Indianapolis, everything started to spiral downhill. Out of our last 10 games, we went 1-9 and nine, and it was not looking good for us. And then... We had a tournament in Toledo. Alright, so here we are on July 21st, 2017. It's a Friday. We were playing in a tournament in Toledo, Ohio. We were playing a pretty good team out of Ohio, and they were beating us 10-0. to And a wild pitcher was on the mound. He threw me four straight balls, then I took my base, and then my coach gave me the steal sign, and then I screwed myself over. In that game, I ended up injuring my hamstring 
and I was out for about a month. This caused me to be thrown off track a lot and it was just not looking good for me. Also, it wasn't looking good for my team either. We had two more games in that tournament, which I unfortunately could not play because I was hurt. Then the following week, I had to play two makeup games that we had canceled on us because we just had no extra players. So we were kind of screwed at that point and we were just digging ourselves a hole. We ended up finishing the season with a terrible, terrible 4 and 20 record. Without further ado, these are the highlights of my 2017 summer ball season. We got London on the track. Horses don't stop, they keep going. Hey. You can lose your life, but it's gonna keep going. Why not risk life when it's gonna keep going? Yeah. When you die, somebody else was born, but at least we got to say we ran on the digits, we ran on the money, we ran on the digits, we ran on that money, we ran on the digits, we ran on the money. We ran on the digits, we ran on the money, we ran on the digits, we ran on some money, we ran on some digits, we ran on some money. I'm living like I'm on the field for the hennies. I talk lots of shit like my bitches are dangerous. They didn't know me once, so I left from where we should. You know it's a drop when you drain and can't flip it. Stop, they can 